Today, I will be drawing the past, present, and future all in one drawing. So you're probably thinking, what do you mean past, present, future in one drawing? Well, I'm glad that you asked. So pretty much, I'm going to draw the past first, then we'll do the present, and then we'll do the future. So pretty much, it's going to be the same art piece, but it's going to be stages of time, if you don't mean. So pretty much, the first one will be it's past. Second will be the future. And the third will be future. Pretty much. Simple, clear as that. And what I want to kind of do is, you know, then show them one by one. You get to see it there, from there, to there. But I think I've talked enough. How about we just start? Now we begin with the past. Because we need something to start with. And it makes, I think it makes sense to start with the past, then the present, then the future. So with the past, I decided to go quite simple, quite simple. I wanted some mountains in the background, a very grass plain, some trees in the far back, like a forest there, and you've got a nice clear lake as well in the middle. And you've also got this one little tree, one little small little tree that's there, but as time progresses, it shall get bigger. This one was going to be simple, it's going to be, because then in the other ones I can add as much as possible, but I can also take away quite a bit as well, so I can replace things, but things might get smaller and things might get bigger. And they kind of do, if you think about it, like, mountains will kind of erode on time a little bit. I think they do, because if you think about it, like, we get landslides, we can get landslides, we can get rocks that can fall off the mountain, and if you think about it, that is technically coming off the mountain, so there's actually less mountain than there was in the past. In the past, there's probably a lot of it there, and in the future, there might not be as much of it there, it might actually be less, if you think about it, and I think that makes sense, there will be less, but then there's things like nature, like trees and plants, and they'll grow over time. If they stay there, they might or they might not, but if they are left there to their own devices and if natural disasters don't happen, they will grow even bigger and bigger and healthier, hopefully. But you never know. Who knows? Because I don't. I don't think anybody knows. But yes, I decided let's go simple with the past and then with the next ones, we can go a bit more add a bit more to it, a bit more civilization, as you will. It's time for the present. So, we're going to take what we've drawn for the past, and now we're going to start changing it, because time has progressed quite a bit, and it has. So, that little stuff thing that you saw in the sky has was a meteor, and has destroyed the top of it, and has landed on the bottom left. What can it hold? Who knows? But we'll find out within time indeed. The next thing that I also decided to do was the forest on the left hand bit side has now been chopped down and is now, civilization has now started to thrive there. There's now a city, but with it there's also a little bit more smoke because cities, let's be honest, can be quite dirty. It's not exactly squeaky clean, is it? Let's be honest. The forest, much easier to breathe than in a city. Yeah, most of the, pretty much most of the time. So, yeah. The other thing I decided to say to do, well, it's going to happen anyway, is our little tree now has started to grow. It has gotten bigger and it is looking very, very nice indeed. Now, with this meteor as well, as the landscape has obviously been damaged, it has literally been damaged there's a big now there's a big hole where the rock was the rock has now been destroyed there's no little remnants of the rock there's not much of it left now it's kind of you know destroyed so the little bits i always decided to do as well is make it a little bit more smoggy there the sky is a little bit darker as well it's not as quite as blue as it once was and also the trees and the forest, they've grown as well, so they've gotten taller with time. So, I liked how this is, this is a good representation of how time progresses, it changes quite a bit, and it does. 
So now I think it's time to go into the next part, the future. All right, it is time for the exciting part of this video, the future. Now with this list bit, I'm going to go and add as much as I want. I'm going to add a lot to this. Now obviously I'm going to keep a few things, they're going to get bigger, they're going to get taller, but also the landscape has changed quite a bit. It's changed quite a bit. So that meteor actually contained some kind of weird crystal that we are unknown on what it is. But it appears that that meteor was actually the seed for this crystal. And it is not only has it affected the land, but it's also affected the top of the mountain where it was once destroyed, but has now been replaced with crystals. So, and that's quite interesting. And with those crystals, science has advanced way beyond and there's also technology has gotten even better. So with that, I decided that in this place, humanity has progressed really quickly and pretty quickly with time. The buildings have gotten better, um, the skies are once actually clearer than they were in the present because of this new energy they've developed with these crystals. And the sky hasn't looked better since the past really it's been a long time this water has looks cleaner again and also with this new technology it is also now much more common to go to space as they also say the final frontier let's be honest space is pretty cool it's very cool we don't know what is out there but it's so fascinating and it's awesome it is awesome i love space space is oh there's so many possibilities you can see why i like science fiction quite a lot as you can also see as the city has gotten bigger but what they have learned is they have learned a few things they have learned to make cleaner energy they have also learned to preserve the forest that's why the forest has not been touched it's actually been protected which is good, which is a very good thing, it means, because the more trees we cut down in real life, well, you know, not good, not good for the environment. But yes, the other thing I decided to do is I wanted to make the crystals obviously shine and everything else, but also decided why don't we build things higher and higher, like the mountains and everything, and replace things. But yes, the future is very, very cool. What will it hold? Who knows? But for this piece, here is the future, here the past, and the present. Here we go. And it is finally finished. At last. <laughs> so pretty much, um, why am I wearing different clothes? That's a good question. So I got sick. That was great. That was fantastic for a while. Then pretty much the other bit at the end got weird. So I had to do this again and I wasn't happy with it. But anyway, let's ignore that for now. And let me just say I'm happy how this turned out. We have got the past, we have the present, and we have the future. Sorry this took longer than I was expecting, but I'm at least happy and glad that this actually turned out pretty well. Not too bad, not too bad. Maybe in the future I might do something similar to this, but it might be young, middle, and old, or young, 
youth or I don't know how I would put that but pretty much thing of like there's a kid, there's an adult and there's the old older folk or older person pretty much. That could be pretty interesting. Don't know who I'll do that with, but hey, maybe I could do it with a few characters. Who knows? Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this. So it's been a while. First edit wasn't great, and I got sick. Fantastic. Pretty much my voice was literally bad. It was pretty, pretty bad. But I'm back. It is fine now. If you're wondering... What sick did I get? Ah, uh, the one that's been going around the world. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. I think this it turned out pretty cool. And maybe I'll do some other things in the future. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, I've rammed on long enough. I'm good fine. This is foolish. We'll see you guys next time. And yeah, till then, we shall see you later.